Welcome to the Spiritual Deep Dive in Five podcast. So glad you could join us to spend some time reflecting on God and His love for each of us today. Make sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell. That way you'll never miss out on any of our content. The Spiritual Deep Dive podcast is posted Monday through Friday by Christ Church of Flagstaff here in Flagstaff, Arizona. And you can find more information about our church online at ccof.church. Thank you so much for watching. And we are so excited to see what God is going to do in your life because you are committed to spending time with him. Look at this verse, Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Listen to that again, so important. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Friends, what we know, and I said this yesterday in our deep dive, the the church should stand out from this world. You and I, we are the church, and we should stand out from this world as as a demonstration of God's intention for the human race. They should be able to, the people who don't know God, who don't follow Jesus, they should be able to look at us and see what God intends for their life. See, you and I, we, we want to be culturally uh, connected and identified with this world. And that's placing this the thing called the church at risk. Believers, Jesus said in Matthew 5, are to be salt and light. We're different. We're, we're to be purifying and enlightening contemporary culture. And, and friends, some of us think that that, that uh, change or that renewing or not transform, being transformed, not conforming is about picking the right political party or, and all that. It's not. See, Paul's basis for renewal is on the new kind of life available in Christ, which most of the people in his time in Judaism, they expected only in the world to come. That, that's how the Jewish mind was thinking, is that God would fix all the wrongs later. And you and I, maybe we feel similarly. Life gets better in heaven, uh, but we continue to just see and only experience struggle here. Is that how you've seen it? Is that your ultimate transformation is later? No, 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 friends. It can be now. See, that's why verse one we talked about yesterday, living sacrifice, worshiping God today. It's it's something you can not just experience for yourself, but share this new kind of life. Isn't that the kind of life Northern Arizona needs today? A new kind of life? We don't just need more Republicans or more Democrats or more this or more that or more. We just need new life. We need to do life in a different way. What if we, the followers of Jesus, no longer conformed? We didn't try to fit in. We didn't try to look like everyone else. All of the stats, all the data, the researchers show that what the people around us do in Northern Arizona, we do. We we do all the things, good or bad, about the same percentage as all of our neighbors. What if, just think about this for a second. What if we, the followers of Jesus, no longer conformed? What if the, what if the data was different? What if our marriages last longer? What if we drank less? What if we looked at less pornography? What if we had uh, fewer kids being reported as abused? What if we didn't conform anymore? What if we didn't look just like everyone else? But we were, in the words of Paul to the church in Rome, transformed. See, I think it's our our transformation. When you and I are transformed, when we're changed into the amazing creature God made us to be, the amazing child, son, daughter of his, a new creation, I think our transformation would transform your home, wouldn't it? Our transformation, your transformation, it, it, it would transform your workplace. You want your, your workplace to feel different? Be different. Your group of friends, the street you live on, see the the church should stand out from the world as a demonstration of God's intention for the human race.